Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. The title of our lesson today is Mary Goffrey, page 60 plus 61. And then number 8, reading. Before reading, قبل القراءة, television is popular around the world. Why do you think it is so popular? How much do you know about television? يحفظ التلفاز بشعبية كبيرة في جميع أنحاء العالم. لماذا تعتقد أنه يحظى بشعبية كبيرة؟ كم تعرف حول التلفاز؟ الإجابات إجابة السؤال الأول بنقول Because it helps people a lot like makes you have fun and helps you learn a new skill and develops culture اشتهر بسبب أنه يساعد الكثير من الناس يجعلك تستمتع أو تحظى بالمرح يساعدك على تعلم مهارة جديدة وتطوير ثقافة حول أي شيء أن تريده إجابة السؤال الثاني It is advice that transmits images and sounds هو جهاز ينقل الصور والأصوات Pages 60 and 61 8. Reading A brief overview of the history of television Television was not invented overnight by a single person the work of many people over a number of decades contributed to its evolution. In the early days, two distinct schools of thought in technology influenced different researchers and the course of their investigation. The first one was based on the technology of Paul Nipkow's rotating disks that supported a mechanical television system, and the second one on an electronic television system that used a cathode ray tube developed independently by two inventors, Campbell Swinton and Rosing. Paul Nipkow, 1860-1940, who invented the Nipkow disk in 1884, was the first person to discover the scanning principle that allowed small portions of an image to be analyzed and transmitted. However, it is unclear whether Nipkow actually built a working prototype of his television system. Electronic television is based on the development of the cathode ray tube, which can still be found in modern television sets. Philo Farnsworth, 1906-1971, was the first inventor to transmit a television image, a dollar sign, using the dissector tube, which is the basis of all current electronic televisions. The American engineer started experimenting with electricity when he was 12, when he built an electric motor and produced an electric washing machine. He was still in high school when he conceived of his ideas for television. A lot of people wrongly believe that color television is a recent idea. In actual fact, the earliest proposal for color television was patented in 1904, while in 1925, Zworykin filed his proposal for an all-electronic color television system. Commercial broadcasting, however, started in the early 50s, a quarter of a century later. John Baird, 1888-1946, is a researcher who is best remembered for inventing a mechanical television system based on Nipkow's scanning disk idea. Actually, his work included a number of technological milestones in the history of television. He created the first televised pictures of objects in motion, 1924, the first televised human face, 1925, color television, 1928, stereoscopic television, and television by infrared light that were presented and demonstrated before the 1930s. Vladimir Zworkin, 1889-1982, the inventor of iconoscope, a transmission device, as well as the kinescope, i.e. the cathode ray tube, in 1929, was one of the first to demonstrate a television system with all the features of modern television, otherwise called the tube. Most people in Britain that use the word tube to refer to television fail to make the connection between the television set and the cathode ray tube. Nor do people stop and think about the meaning of the word television, which refers to the transmission of images over a distance. In 1929, Zworkin became the Director of Electronic Research at Radio Corporation of America, RCA, and was later promoted to Vice President in 1947. 
Zworkin invented many devices, including the scintillation counter, a device for measuring radioactivity. He held more than 80 patents and received numerous awards for his work. Lewis W. Parker patented the Intercarrier Sound System in 1948, which is now used in all television receivers in the world. Without it, televisions would probably have been too costly for most people. The plasma display monitor was invented in July 1964 by professors Bitzer and Slotow and their graduate student, Robert Wilson. However, successful plasma television became feasible later, after the development of digital and other technologies. A factor that delayed the commercial development of plasma display was connected with LCD, or liquid crystal displays, which made flat-screen television possible. This minimized one of the advantages of plasma television in terms of a flat screen with an improved image. So it has taken a lot longer for plasma display to become more widely acceptable and accessible. Until recently, a plasma television screen was regarded to some extent as a symbol of affluence or status along with other possessions. Now, a new development is affecting communication and media further namely that of web or internet television. When internet access is available, along with adequate hardware, more and more viewers appear to be switching over to their laptops or desktops to watch films and other programs. Television sets are connected, allowing access to digital channels. The key word seems to be access. It is quick access and options that determine the popularity and, consequently, the commercial success of a medium. Television has so far been fairly well established. It remains to be seen how digital technology will affect its evolution in the future. الحين ننتقل after reading. Answer the questions. أجب على الأسئلة. Number one. Explain what the two main schools of thought were in the early days. اشرح ما هي المدرستين الرئيسيتين للفكر في الأيام الأولى. Number two, how did Philo Farnsworth transmit an image? What did he use? كيف نقل Philo Farnsworth الصورة؟ ماذا استخدم؟ Number three, how old is the concept of color TV? ما هو عمر مفهوم التلفزيون الملون؟ Number four, why is television called the tube by some people لماذا يطلق على اسم التلفاز اسم الانبوب من قبل بعض الناس number 5 how did barker's system affect developments كيف اثر نظام باركر على التطورات number 6 read the text again find each inventor's name the name of his invention and the approximate year write the information in the chart along with the effect that each invention had on the evolution of television. اقرأ النص مرة أخرى ابحث عن اسم كل مخترع واسم اختراعه والسنة التقريبية التي قام بصنع الاختراع فيها اكتب المعلومات هذه في الرسم البياني مع ذكر تأثير كل اختراع والتطور الذي أحدثه على التلفاز طبعا عندنا في الجدول الخانة الأولى year السنة بعدين inventor نكتب هنا اسم المخترع بعدين invention الاختراع وآخر خانة على اليمين effects الآثار بالنسبة لهذه الخانة طالع عندنا بالجدول مرة مرة صغير والإجابة شوي طويلة فتقدر تكتب في دفتر أو تقدر تصور الشاشة تطبعها إجابات الأسئلة أول شيء number one the two main schools of thought were ball McBow's rotating disc and a cathode ray tube developed independently by Campbell, Swinton, and Rosen. كانت المدرستان الرئيسيتان للفكر هما مدرسة بول نيبكو للتناوب أو الأقراص وأنبوب أشعة الكاثود وتم تطويرهما بشكل مستقل بواسطة كامبل سوينتون وورسين. Number two, he transmitted a dollar sign. He used a dissector tube. أرسل علامة دولار استخدم أنبوب التشريح. 
Number three. The earliest proposal for color television was patented in 1904. تم تسجيل براءة اختراع أول اقتراح للتلفزيون الملون في عام 1904. Number four. Because people failed to make a connection between the television set and the cathedral cube. لأن الناس فشلوا في جعل أو في صنع اتصال بين جهاز التلفزيون وأنبوب أشعة الكاثود. Number five. He made televisions cost effective. جعل أجهزة التلفزيون فعالة من حيث التكلفة. بالنسبة لـ number six واللي هو الجدول. نبدأ بـ number one. Year السنة ألف وثمانمية وستين إلى ألف وتسعمية وأربعين أو بالإنجليزي eighteen sixty two nineteen forty inventor المخترع المخترع عندنا Paul Nipko invention الاختراع the Nipko disk in eighteen eighty four قرص Nipko في عام ألف وثمانمية أربعة وثمانين effect اللي هو التأثير It allowed small portation of an image to be analyzed and transmitted يسمح بتحليل ونقل أجزاء صغيرة من الصور ونمبر 2 السنة 1906-1971 Inventor المخترع Philo Farnsworth Invention الاختراع Electronic Television تلفزيون إلكتروني Effects التأثير It transmits a television image ينقل الصور التلفزيونية Number 3 1888-1946 Inventor المخترع John Baird Invention الاختراع Mechanical television تلفزيون ميكانيكي Television Pictures of objects in motion الصور المتلفزة للأشياء المتحركة Number 4 1889-1982 Inventor Valdemir Zorakin Invention Iconoscope أيقونة Effects التأثير One of the first to demonstrate a television system with all the features من أوائل من عرض نظام التلفزيون بجميع الميزات Number 5 1948 Inventor Louis W. Barker Invention Intercarrier Sound System نظام نقل الصوت Effects Now used in all television reserves in the world يتم استخدامه الآن في جميع أجهزة استقبال التلفزيون في العالم ونمبر 6 والأخير 1964 Inventor Pitzer and Sloto and Graduated Student Robert Wilson عندنا هنا ثلاث أشخاص اللي هم Pitzer, Sloto وطالب التخرج Robert Wilson Invention الاختراع Plasma Display Mentor شاشة عرض البلازما Effects التأثير Made flat screen television possible جعل شاشة التلفزيون المسطحة ممكنة ننتقل number 9 speaking number 1 make a list of your favorite TV shows and why you like them قم بعمل قائمة ببرامجك التلفزيونية المفضلة وسبب إعجابك بها number 2 talk about TV shows in groups and use the chart to make notes compare your list and decide which shows are popular within your group تحدث عن البرامج التلفزيونية في مجموعات واستخدم الرسم البياني لتدوين الملاحظات قارن قائمتك وحدد العروض الأكثر شهرة داخل مجموعتك Number 3 Use the chart to find out about the rest of the groups in a class and make notes Organize and edit your notes استخدم الجدول للتعرف على بقية المجموعات في الفصل وتدوين الملاحظات قم بتنظيم وتحرير الملاحظات الخاصة لك نقرأ الأسئلة اللي بالجدول أول سؤال Which TV shows are the most popular among your friends؟ 
ما هي البرامج التلفزيونية الأكثر شعبية بين أصدقائك؟ أو الخان على اليمين أو اللي في النص Group answers نكتب هنا إجابات المجموعة مجموعتك بس أما اللي على اليمين آخر واحدة Class answers هذه إجابات الفصل نيجي أو ننتقل للسؤال الثاني Why are these shows popular with your friends? لماذا هذه العروض شعبية بين أصدقائك؟ السؤال الثالث What do you like about these shows? ما الذي يعجبك في هذه العروض؟ وآخر سؤال What do you dislike about these shows? ما الذي لا يعجبك في هذه العروض؟ بالنسبة لهذه الجزئية ما في أي إجابة محددة ما أقدر أعطيك أي إجابة محددة كل اللي عليك إنك قبل لا تروح المدرسة يعني يوم تيجي تحضر أو يوم تشوف الفيديو إنك تطلع بعض البرامج اللي أنت تحب تتفرج عليها وأسباب إعجابك فيها بتكتب بعض الخانات أنت ممكن تحط إجابات أصدقائك وإجابات الفصل يعني كله يعتمد عليك وعلى فصلك وعلى المعلم بكذا نكون وصلنا لنهاية الفيديو see you guys next time